So we're looking at trying to understand a bit more about how Python can be expanded. Functions that will do what we want might already be built in. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is understand the amount of effort required to manually calculate the factorial of 6. So we do 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And it's 720. Now that's not too much trouble if it's 6, but if the number we were looking for was the factorial of 60, then obviously that would be a lot of typing, a lot of code. So we're going to hope that someone's written a function for this, fingers crossed. And we're going to guess that the function is called factorial. And we're just going to give it a go and see what happens. Oh no, it doesn't exist. So I get a name error, this is the type of error we've seen before, and it says the name factorial is undefined not defined. Nobody has built this function inside for Python. Okay, never mind, that's sad, but it might be that there is in fact a function inside a module. Python's modules allow you to expand Python with a wide variety of additional functions, data types, variables, and one of them is called math. So if we import math, we actually get access to math.factorial. So very close to what we tried, but we just need to import math first. And if I run this, I get a value of 720, which is exactly what we wanted. Now, math comes with other things than the function factorial. It comes with variables. So this gives me pi to very high accuracy, really useful. Uh, it also gives you numbers like e, very high accuracy. And then it gives me additional functions. So I'm going to do the sign of pi. Uh, for those who don't know, pi is actually is the radian. Is a, another way of measuring an angle is called radians, and pi radians is equal to 180 degrees, so half a circle. So the sign of that is oops. If I finish my uh, printing is zero because it's the sign of 180 degrees. 